Hey guys, we're at Pro Strength and Fitness today. This is my second from last heavy deadlift session before the Strongman Classic on the 24th of June. Today's plan is a reasonably heavy triple. I'm trying out a new suit because I've been wearing my deadlift suit and the last time I competed, I was about 165, 170 kilos. I'm about 150 right now and the suit is doing nothing for me. So I've borrowed Jack's suit to see if this is gonna feel a little bit better. But the plan is around 3.30 for a comfortable triple. So hopefully all goes well. Come and have a look. You look like a telly tubby in this. You look like a telly tubby. Oh, it's a funny colour. What suit is it? This is Jack's suit. Yeah, so but what brand? I think it's a Titan. Um, he's similar size to me now, so it should fit pretty well. <coughs> He's a bit shorter than you, does that make a difference? No, because this one has the straps, so you can adjust the, right. the length, okay. whereas mine doesn't. Uh, okay. So I'm hoping this will feel a bit better, but this is a um, Titan Velocity Deadly Suit. Um, still smells of Jack. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, Jack. He's, he's very kindly lent it to me gave, to try. Gave you his dirty suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But um, hopefully it'll feel a bit better because the suit I've been using is almost baggy on me now. Yeah. So you don't really get any pop out of the floor. Um, I would actually rather no suits are allowed in Strongman, but obviously you don't want to be at a disadvantage competing against the other guys. So I'm trying to get used to using them. Um, we've got to do 350 for reps in the competition. Set myself a target of four to five reps. Um, it's certainly not going to win, but hopefully, you know, if you think 12 weeks ago, I was struggling big time. Um, so I've got myself into what I believe is good enough to, to look like I belong there and then I'm hoping in these next two weeks some kind of miracle can happen <laughs> and I can kind of suddenly peek back to my, my best. It's um, very unlikely but we can live in hope. But I am, I'm really looking forward to it. I just want to I want to sort of go and, and perform in front of a big crowd, enjoy it, give a hundred percent. I plan on giving a hundred percent on every single event and then what will be will be. So couple more training sessions ago this is the second from last deadlift we've got a heavy single next week but um, triples today I'm not used to training so early so early yeah, yeah. it's like 9 a.m isn't it oh this the nursery run got straight to the gym <laughs> never filmed me in here before have you I've never filmed you here, no. Will has, for the channel, Yeah. a few years ago. We've not got a huge amount of time today, so it's pretty much focusing just on the deadlifts. And then I've got a day of, um, there's quite a lot of work on. I've got a lot of um, rehab stuff, so getting a deep tissue massage, uh, which is why I'm training early, to be honest. I didn't want to train after having the massage, so I want a couple of days to recover for heavy events on the weekend. Chiropractic treatment, I've got a few interviews to do tonight. Um, so quite a bit on driving all over the place to different people an hour and a half to get these done sounds easy but <laughs> when you're training heavy on deadlifts you tend to take quite a while it's a lot though a lot of people like i'm seeing a lot online about a comeback do you consider this a comeback or because i thought it was like <laughs> final competition a comeback would imply there will be lots more uh what do you in, in my head it's focus on this one and this one only <laughs> um, however <laughs> never say never but my, my goal after this is my issue at the moment is mentally I, I'd love to compete properly my issue is physically my body doesn't want me to I'm in quite a lot of pain you can see I'm actually wrapping my knees for deadlifts because this knee is just in agony I've really struggled to to do anything without being in pain um, this whole prep um, if I can get to the point where my body feels fit and healthy then maybe maybe some more but right now my goal is is 100% just on this show uh, and this show only and then I want to lose some weight and just focus on getting my body feeling as as fit and healthy as possible and then who knows you know, I've, I've got no ambition of trying to win World's Strongest Man anymore. Um, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm very busy with other things, but I'll always train. Uh, 
and I like setting myself different targets. So there's, you know, I want to go to Scotland and do some of the, the Scottish stones. I want to do some arm wrestling. Um, if I can get my body feeling fit and healthy, I'd like to do a powerlifting competition at a lower body weight. Um, so there's things that I've got in my head that I want to focus on. But in terms of big strongman competitions right now, this is a, a one and only uh, for me. Get it done. I don't think Liz can cope with me prepping for another show right now. <laughs> whinging about I, I get up in the morning I'm like a proper old man aren't I oh, yes. sort of like walk around and then as the day goes on I start to feel a bit better but <laughs> <laughs> I think next I need to come and support you at a comp. <laughs> not a strong woman competition. No definitely not. <laughs> Training now though aren't you? I am, I'm, do you know what, I've lost like eight or nine pounds. Doing well. Yeah, but I'm far from competition ready. <laughs> We've only been doing it what, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of time. Lovely. You hate figure of eights, why are you using them? Uh, yeah. Good question. <laughs> so, the straps that I'm using are Superior strongman straps. Which Les Wiltshire. Les Wiltshire, yeah. He created some straps that are really good for the axle. Um, as much as I'm not a massive fan of the figure of eights, on an axle, they're actually better. Uh, especially these ones, they just fit perfectly. I've used them before. Um, but the normal straps on an axle tend to kind of unravel and it's a bit harder to grip. So with these straps, I don't have to worry about the grip. Um, and kind of trying to worry as little as possible with everything that you're doing on a deadlift is, is ideal. So yeah, although I'm not a huge fan of the figure of eights, I am using them for the axle. So this is um, a 35 kilo bar, which makes plate maths even so much harder. <laughs> You're just used to a 20 kilo bar all the time, aren't you? Yeah. So this is actually 195, not 180. We believe you. <laughs> I could just say it's... 60 kilo bar. <laughs> Say what you want, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I've weighed it, it's 35. People just guess their weights a lot of the time. I, I don't like doing that, I like to weigh everything. I know exactly what I'm lifting. No. You know, those black logs, a lot of people say they're 70 kilos. Ours is 61, weighed it. <laughs> oh, really? so, yeah. Um, Makes a big difference when you're hitting those big weights, doesn't it? Well, 10 kilos when you suddenly go to a comp and it's, you can't get it, it makes a big difference. 10 kilos off your supposed PB. Yeah. <laughs> this will probably be the last one I do without the suit. Okay. And then we'll try and get me into this Teletubby. What's, what's the purple Teletubby? Um, Tinky Winky. Tinky Winky, that's what we're going to look like. Seven five next. Ooh. I hate being in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then. Good. Good. 
How did that feel weight-wise? Um, okay. Just Sorry, like... I should be get helping you out there, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. I felt like I could have done two more, no problem. Yeah. But um, I just didn't want to, <laughs> if I'm honest. Just didn't want to. <laughs> That's fine, knowing that you can do it, I'll have enough confidence that you can do it. It just, um, the different suits just throwing me off slightly, and I'm sort of panicking at the bottom, because yeah. I'm struggling to get any air in. But my goal on the day is four to five reps, so I think I'll be alright. Got one of your nieces with you, Lassie? Yeah. So I'm just doing some pause deadlifts to finish with. One inch off the floor, pause, and then pull through, try and get the glutes and hammies firing a bit better. Maintain better form. Sorry, I'm sweating. Too bad, we've been on the anyway. Poor Carly. Got covered with all my sweat on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> no one says poor Liz. <laughs> <laughs> you chose this life. <laughs> Deadlift done, Lizzie? Yeah. Happy? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what will it take for you to feel happy? No, I'm looking forward to the comp. Um, I think for... You've got to remember I'm a natural competitor. You know. And it's hard when you're not at your best. But... I am trying to enjoy it. I really am, trust me. <laughs> Just that, that natural competitiveness comes out. And obviously when you, you know, if you're a 200 kilo log lifter and you're struggling to do 160, people still, still say oh, 160 is great, but you know yourself, it's nothing compared to what you're capable of. Uh, you know, at my best, I was a 450 kilo deadlifter. Um, or capable of that kind of number. So, to be struggling with 100 kilos less. It's still moving okay, but... It doesn't feel how it used to feel. Yeah, and I, 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 you know, I, I know why, there's lots of reasons why. Even the fact that I've only been training properly for 12 weeks. So, it's, it's gonna be difficult coping with injuries and stuff like that. It's just mentally tough and I'm coping with it in my own way, but... I'm looking forward to getting to the show, just giving the best that I can. And then we'll see after that. We'll, we'll reevaluate and, and go from there. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.